I was writing about the fact that the, one of the worst perpetrators of human rights abuses for, against Rohingya, that, that battalion has now moved up to Kachin State, where they are continuing their practices in Kachin State. There were six female medics who are Ta'ang. Ta'ang is another ethnicity in Burma. Six female medics who were found in a grave. They had been raped and tortured by the Tatmadaw, by Burma's army. This is happening up in the north. In Karen State, another state in Burma, the military is building a road. Thousands of people are being displaced. In Chin State, the government is in continuing to practice residential schools that are, they could be modeled on the residential schools that were put in place here in Canada. So I'm not telling you this to compare atrocities. We should never compare. But I'm telling you this because I think it's really important that we look at the big picture. This is decades long, and we are seeing the result of a plan. Burma's regime has always had a nation-building plan that involves having one country with one language, one ethnicity, and one religion. That is the plan, and that is what they are implementing. Several years ago, I was asked to speak before a committee here on the hill about what was happening to Rohingya. And at the time, I consulted a Rohingya woman that I know, what's the most important thing to say? And one of the things she said was, tell them to use our name. And it is striking how many humanitarian organizations, how many diplomats in Burma still are not using the name Rohingya. They're being complicit as far as I'm concerned. Silence is complicit with erasing the Rohingya. 